Hi everybody, welcome to Mukbang Monday, and we're having breakfast for dinner. That's right, breakfast for dinner, and this is a breakfast bake. It is from the same magazine that we have been working out of, and in fact I cooked something out of this Saturday. Hmm, I'll tell you what's in that in a minute. So Saturday, I did beef with broccoli. Which was very, very good. And my husband said that it was better than the Chinese restaurant. And that's all he ever orders from the Chinese restaurant. So today I did a breakfast bake. That's what it's called. And it has a pound of sausage, ground sausage, breakfast sausage, a pound of bacon. Okay, here's a piece of sausage with some egg. A dozen eggs, some milk, some cheddar cheese, sweet onion, which I don't put in mine, you know I don't like onions, a bell pepper, some hot sauce, and salt and, salt and pepper. It's, you, you cook it all in a 9 by 12 pan. So, looking, there's some bacon and some sausage and some egg, and there's cheese all throughout this. Um, I decided to eat some Greek tomatoes with this. Hmm. I have never made this before. It is really, really good. So, yep, yeah, this is from my low carb magazine. Okay, I see sausage cheese and egg this would be something good to do on Christmas morning mm -hmm. so what I will I am going to do is put these in containers for single serving and every morning I will take some with me when I babysit. Okay, so this has green peppers, egg, cheese, and sausage. And I see a piece of bacon. Mm -hmm. Very good. I didn't really taste any hot sauce. And I put in more than it called for. Very good. I did put in dried minced onion because I don't like onions. Mm. I love grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I pop them like they're candy. So this one has bacon, green pepper, egg, and cheese. So I have cooked quite a bit out of this. We've done hmm, what did we do on here? I don't think we've done them all on here. We've done a few on here. We did the Mediterranean chicken bake, the chicken cordon bleu. The spicy shrimp salad with cashews. Okay, we still have some more to do. Did we do the spinach? No, we didn't do the spinach stuffed chicken breasts. So yeah, I still have a few in here I want to cook up. 
and this says to display it in the store until May 31st so after May 31st if there's another one of these I'm going to buy it and I don't see where this is a subscription because I looked and I did not see anything in here where you could subscribe to it. It says, yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's nothing in here to subscribe to it. So I guess you have to pick it up in the stores. So I will look. Okay. Okay. So today I had off <clears throat> trying to get a little bit of everything. I didn't have to babysit today. I didn't even really watch any videos. I have I cleaned. I've been doing laundry. I've been reading. And I watched last night's Game of Thrones. Oh my god. No, I won't give you any spoilers, don't worry. But, and this is sad tongue-in-cheek. Don't take it seriously. If any of you are Cersei fans after last night's episode, we can't be friends. No, you're just as warped as she is. <laughs> seriously. Oh my god. That woman is the devil. That's all I have to say. And I'm not. Mm, I cried at the very beginning. And I cried in the middle, and you'll know why if you saw it. Why I would cry. Just like Daenerys. Yeah, and then the very end. Hmm. So, Justin, my son, and I have. We're wondering if what's going to happen. This is just our thought. There's no spoilers. This is just what we're thinking that Cersei, John, and Daenerys are all going to die at the end and Sansa is going to end up the queen. Okay, so this is mostly all green peppers. I don't know why we feel that way. It's just something in the back of our minds. That's not a spoiler because we don't know. Mm. Those are really good. A grape tomato. I like having a mouthful with all the different things all in one mouthful. It just brings out the flavor. Mm. I believe I do have the link for this magazine. I think it was my other magazine I couldn't find online. I believe that one's on Amazon and so I will put the link down below. Mm. 
probably could have put mushrooms in this also. That would have been good. Mushrooms. Spinach. <laughs> very, very good. Mm -hmm. This is another recipe I would bake again. It was very easy to make. Breakfast bake. I've been reading. I'm taking a break from social media. Drinking ice, unsweetened iced tea. And it's green tea, which I like a lot. So, just taking a break this week from a lot, you know. Have to do that sometimes. Kind of step away. So, again, I weighed myself on Sunday and gained like 0.4 pounds. <laughs> but that's okay because I might have lost inches. I know my bags have been, my bags, my jeans have been baggy. <laughs> Can't speak right. So good. Mm. Yep, I've been like two weeks behind on my reading, so I'm trying really hard to get caught up. Now, I don't have much more left in the book I'm reading now, which is the chocolate bunny. Brew Ha Ha by Joanna Caro. It's a cozy mystery. Hmm. See, I'm almost done with that. I have less than an hour left on it. I might have like 30 minutes left in the book. So I'm reading that. I'm hoping to finish it tonight. I do have two videos to make. I have a color lawn video and a flip through video. And then tonight is the series finale for Shadow Hunters on Freeform. And I believe it's for two and a half hours. So if my book is not done by then, I will read during commercials because that's what I do. I read during commercials. So then my Monday nights are free. My Tuesday nights are already free. My Wednesday nights are already free. Thursday, there's... Two more episodes of Grey's Anatomy, I believe, for the season. But I'm still over a month behind on General Hospital. So, this week I'm hoping 
to get some oh my god now I got the hiccups I might have ate too fast because I do get the hiccups if I eat too fast and I'm talking <laughs> or it could be the green peppers anyways it's all gone it was so good now I get to put them in individual containers for my breakfast for the week and thank you so much for watching and look for this magazine if you've liked a lot of the recipes I've been doing since I started mukbang they're all in here and as I turn this off I will get closer and closer with it so you can really see what the magazine looks like. Low carb cooking. And 